Question. A nurse is caring for a client with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, who becomes increasingly short of breath after ambulating to the bathroom. The nurse notes the client's oxygen saturation has dropped from 92% to 85% on 2 liters per minute of oxygen via nasal cannula. Step 1. What is the nurse's priority assessment in this situation? A. Assess for cyanosis and use of accessory muscles. B. Check if the pulse oximeter is functioning correctly. C. Measure the client's blood pressure. D. Ask if the client feels anxious. Step 2. Based on the assessment findings, what is the priority nursing action? A. Increase the oxygen flow rate to 4 liters per minute. B. Encourage pursed lip breathing and position the client upright. C. Notify the healthcare provider immediately. D. Administer a PRN sedative to reduce anxiety. Answer. Step 1. A. Assess for cyanosis and use of accessory muscles. Step 2. B. Encourage pursed lip breathing and position the client upright. Rationale. The nurse first needs to assess the client's respiratory effort and oxygenation before taking any intervention. Observing for cyanosis and accessory muscle use helps determine the severity of distress. Once confirmed, the nurse should implement measures that improve oxygenation without compromising CO2 retention. Pursed lip breathing and high Fowler's position help enhance gas exchange and reduce dyspnea. Increasing oxygen flow without provider order can cause carbon dioxide retention in COPD patients.